Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, I want to record one more video today on the whole subject of mental health. Now this is a video that I think is really, really important to do because uh, there are a lot of videos on YouTube about the uh, withdrawal process from selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, better known as SSRIs, videos about SNRI withdrawal. And some of them say some people have really really bad experiences to say and get crazy crazy brain zaps and all these symptoms now, the reason i wanted to do this video is because i was on the medication assri for a period and i had very very little in the way of problems coming off the drug so my attempt here is just to basically say that not everybody goes through a terrible withdrawal the reason i I'm pushing myself to put this up on YouTube is because as a general truism in life but especially on the internet which is magnified um, people are much more likely to share a negative experience unfortunately than a positive one if you have no trouble whatsoever coming off Zoloft your motivation to do what I'm doing right now and record a video to put on YouTube or uh, write a post on Reddit to say that really wasn't so bad just think about it you're probably probably got better things to do uh, than to share that uh, you had a fine experience so there's a lot of people out there who if you ask your friends if you happen to know any friends who are open about the fact they've had anxiety depression or another mental health problem now i grossly underestimated how many people even in my smallish social circle i know who have taken these drugs and once I found a couple of real people to ask, I got very different perspective than what I found on the internet. Now, the reason I'm, uh, I'm saying this is because um, I just did a video, my mental health journey is uh, one involving ADHD, depression, and it's taken me about 14 months to find a medicine that I'm hopeful, if I can find the bottle, wherever it's gone, um, I'm hopeful will be the one um, but I could have got going with the process four years sooner if I'd taken an SSRI the first time uh, I had the idea that maybe maybe I've got anxiety or something going on and a drug like this could be useful the reason I uh, took it took me like breaking point basically um, I had my gallbladder out uh, started having horrible digestive symptoms and on top of everything else going on in my life, I just reached kind of the point where you're like, no, I need to get help for this. But if you can avoid getting down to that point, I think it's better. And I could have avoided uh, reaching that sort of like mini crisis point, let's say, has I gone on an SSRI a few years ago. And the reason I didn't, which is what I was about to, uh, about to get into, is I read so many bad things about these drugs on reddit i read about brain zaps they sound like the worst things in the world your brain's electrocuted or feels like your brain's being electrocuted i read about uh, pssd permanent uh, sexual dysfunction that some people um, who lose their sexual dysfunction uh, who lose their sexual function while they're on an ssri never get it back and i'm not devalidating or denying anybody's experience using these drugs i'm sure there are people who've gone through impossible withdrawals and protracted withdrawals i'm sure there are people who have developed pssd and permanent sexual dysfunction as a result of using ssris but i'm also sure that there are other people who have not developed pssd who have not had uh, scary withdrawals if you want to hear what my withdrawal was like so um I started out with Vyvanse and we were trying to figure out well is energy issues you could say coming from ADHD or coming from depression so I got on Vyvanse uh, most stimulants have made me a bit depressed so uh, we added on a SSRI uh, Zoloft took that for uh, seven months I think approximately don't quote me on it in that region um, and at some point I decided to come off the drug um, I did tell my doctor that that's what I really wanted to do and he was like it's your body but it was kind of my decision and it was a bad one. I was convinced at the time that Vyvanse was the be all and end all 
uh, and if I just continued taking it, I would just kind of hammer, hammer through any depression and it did not work out like that, unfortunately. But so that's why I came off it. And when it came off it, what was it like? I mean, I did not get any brain zaps, not even one. I did not experience it. I'm actually honestly kind of bummed out about that because if I had had one brain zap, I'd at least know uh, there was so much anticipatory anxiety reading these threads on Reddit about brain zaps and coming off these drugs uh, that honestly, if I had one, I kind of would have been like, ah, so that's what a brain zap feels like. I still don't know what a brain zap feels like. Um, and uh, yeah, so coming off, coming off it, I basically felt a bit blue, uh, depressed for, yeah, about a week or two, nothing crazy, really nothing crazy. Uh, it was a difficult time to do the drug withdrawal because I just went on a trip to the US, so uh, not ideal timing at all. Um, I could hardly sleep for a couple of weeks um, for more than like a few hours. Uh, what else did I have? I had, um, I felt really sick for a few days like um, almost like physical nausea, but uh, it, it really was not that bad. And uh, I guess being actually being on a trip to New York probably actually helped it because I didn't really have time to think so much about my health. I just kind of tried to get through it the best I could. But basically, how bad was my withdrawal on a scale of one to 10? Two, potentially three. Um, it really was not that tough. Now, again, I'm not saying that people don't have terrible withdrawals from these drugs. I'm not saying that you might not. There are people who are rabidly against SSRI drugs, and I'm gonna leave comments open on this video, but just bear that in mind. Some people might leave comments like that. My experience was fine, and here's the last thing I want to say. I would not hesitate for a minute to take one again. If I needed, if I thought that uh, what I'm trying now, well, Butrin isn't gonna work, and an SSRI would be better, I would start Lexapro or Zoloft or Paxil or Prozac tomorrow. I think they can be life-saving drugs. I'm sure a lot of people owe their lives to these drugs. So um, that's my thoughts anyway. I just really felt the need to put this on YouTube because just to try to create some balance because there's so much more information coming out there from people who have had really difficult experiences um, and I just feel so it's kind of it's my obligation almost to share an experience that I would say was really not so bad. Thank you guys for watching uh, this video and wishing everybody good mental health.